A year ago on March 25th, life in India came to a standstill after a complete lockdown was announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus. Since then, our lifestyle and how we interact with the world around us have seen some extreme changes to say the least. The proof of this can be seen in several studies and surveys that have been carried in the past year. Here are five ways the lockdown changed how we live. In addition to remote work, India also saw the emergence of online education during the COVID-induced lockdown. The pandemic further pushed a rise in demand in the already growing edtech industry of the nation. As per Chandra Panigrahi, co-founder and CEO of India's first edtech company in the non-STEM segment, Edukemi, India's online education sector is expected to grow from USD 470 million in 2019 to USD 1765 million dollars in 2022, making a 3.8 times growth in just 3 years. Following this upward trend, the government seems to be betting big on digital learning as well. In the recent past, we have seen the government rolling out several initiatives like the NEP, eBasta and eVidya. As citizens became confined to their homes and the exchange of cash posed a considerable threat of transmitting the virus, digital modes of payment became the safest way to make transactions. Three weeks into the lockdown, consultancy firm Local Circles reported that digital payments platforms saw a 42% increase in the use of their services. Paytm and Google Pay topped the list, the report said. The lockdown even helped close the gap between the less tech-savvy and digital payment methods. Availability of round-the-clock services such as RTGS and NEFT have also helped in scaling digital transactions. While the majority of Indians had to quickly adapt to holding video conferences online as they work from home, dating apps too saw a spike in their user base. Online dating website OkCupid reported a steady increase in its user base since the lockdown. In April 2020, 30% men and 42% of women in India continued messaging, while 32% men and 13% of women took to video chats. 27% of men and 21% of women reportedly preferred the good old phone call. The lockdown encouraged people to utilize online retail to fulfill their grocery needs. E-commerce giants such as Flipkart and Amazon were seen actively promoting the grocery business on their platforms. Multiple studies reportedly indicated a 76% growth in the online grocery market in 2020 as compared to 2019. Big Basket reported a threefold growth in new customer acquisition in terms of orders as per an Economic Times report. Following this upward trend, food delivery platforms such as Zomato, Swiggy and Geomart too got into the action and started delivering groceries. As the risk of contracting COVID-19 taught people to maintain high standards of personal hygiene previously taken casually by many, people learned the importance of washing hands with soap and water. Earlier considered a niche product, the hand sanitizer has now become an integral part of everyone's lives. At its peak, the hand sanitizer market sold around 24 lakh units in July 2020. However, since August 2020, the sales of hand sanitizers have reportedly been dipping, with only 4.8 lakh units sold in January 2021. We should be aware that with 40,000 fresh cases, India reported a steady increase in fresh COVID-19 cases for the fourth consecutive day on March 23rd. The development has once again made India the world's third worst affected country in terms of daily cases. So to those of us who might be feeling less scared of the novel coronavirus, we would be wise to not forget to keep our masks on and a hand sanitizer close as we are not out of the woods just yet. A TOI online report.